final seconds tick down. The Ducks complete their sweep. The season ended. The series against Anaheim. Um, how busy has it been for you this offseason? Well, it's been busy. Um, like every year, you sort of do your debrief. Obviously, the playoffs ended quickly for us and not the way we wanted to go. And you, and you, you, you got to get by that emotion. But it's, it's like every offseason, it's been, it's been busy. Sam Bennett comes in at a pretty reasonable price, but only for two years. Is this kind of a probation for, for Sam to say, listen, you've got two years to prove that you can play at this level, or, or do you believe in him? Well, we believe in him. I think, you know, everybody was expecting, Sam included, um, this past year to be a big year. Um, and there was some learning. Gully, um, you know, through some growing pains, continued to work with him. And I think what we've, that investment's going to pay off. But this contract should not be reflective of, of a non-belief. I think this kid's going to be a terrific player. You went out and made as big a splash at the draft without drafting a a high-end player uh, with your trade in getting Travis Hamannick. You gave away a few assets mm -hmm. to do that. It's hard to give up picks. It really is. When you look at that now in the last, I guess, three years have, have got, as a result of that, have got Dougie Hamilton at his age um, and his number, Travis Hamannick at his age and number, you know, premier positions in terms of right shot defensemen. We felt it was, it was, it was necessary for us. And your goalie. Yeah. Um, you know, I know Mike well, and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, you talk about trade and draft picks, turning over the goaltending tandem every year isn't something we want to do. It seems like we've done it the last couple of years. Mike has been a number one goaltender in this league for a while. It's, there's a lot that goes into that. Um, I think he's at, at the stage in his career where he's ready for this challenge. And he probably plays behind the best defense he's ever been behind now. We all know how important the position is, regardless of who's. In, you know, I mean, very not very often your goalie's better than than mine, and and I win. You know, so you it's it's important. But yeah, no no doubt. I think the the defense that he's playing behind, I think he's excited about. The relationship you have with Glenn Gullitson, there seems to be something really special about your relationship and the interaction you have with your coach. We talk all the time. We share ideas. We're it's an honest relationship. Um, I'll tell him what I think. He'll tell me what he thinks. Ultimately, when it comes to how we do things on the ice, he makes those calls. But that's probably, as a, as a manager, it's the most important. Uh, I always say it's the most important hire you're going to make. It's the most important relationship you're going to have is with your coach. And, and uh, I'm, I'm real fortunate we got a strong one. Where is the bar for Goudreau? Oh, I think Johnny's a, I think he's a special player. He's learning what it's to be a top player, the attention that you get from other teams. But his skill set, his, his, his mind for the game, it doesn't probably get talked about enough. He's, he is a ultra competitive person. And I think channeling that is a thing for him, you know, not getting frustrated, but channeling it in the right way is, 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 a, is, a, is an area for him to, to grow in. But, um, the sky, you know, the sky's the limit. He's an elite player. Is your team ready for the, the new Battle of Alberta? Because it, it's it's a coming. It would be naive to to not know what's going on um, in Edmonton. You know, obviously, with Connor, there now it takes it to a whole different level. Um, so we know the challenges ahead. As a young guy growing up in the West, you you remember those days. Those were those were great teams on both sides and great rivalry, and that's what makes our sport great. So we've got we've got our hands full. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, John.